Hey everybody, it's Basil, and I'm here to talk about Transilience. Um, first off, thank you for everyone's support over this past year. Um, this project was like a pipe dream that I had about two years ago. Um, initially wanted to do and thought I could only do in the southeast, and it was able to expand rapidly, and we've gotten so much in the past year that I can just see it being bigger and bigger as time goes on, and that's what I want. You know, and I, I think that's what our community needs and deserves. Um, with that being said, there have been some changes, some changes and some really good news and some new ideas that I have. So first, uh, big change. One of the founders of the project, Johanna Case, will not be attending um, the trip this summer on the road with me. Um, I have found a new assistant. Their name is Jonah Welch. I'm really excited to work with them. They're actually someone who I met last year on the trip that I interviewed. They are a genderqueer artist, activist from Austin, Texas, and they have a really good eye, and I feel like they're someone who I can work well with creatively. I don't really know them super well, and it would be interesting to uh, spend a month and a half in a car with them. But uh, yeah, I'm excited and uh, regrettably sad to not be doing this with Johanna but um, she'll still be involved in the project and she's gotten some really great uh, opportunities this summer for herself. So that's awesome. Uh, secondly, we are getting funding. With the funding that we've already raised and a sponsorship from a large transgender organization in the country, we will have enough funding for the whole trip. Um, I would also like to, if possible, bring on another trans person, potentially someone that I interviewed too, um, as I interviewed Jonah last year. Um, but if not, I'd like to bring on a trans feminine person, um, someone who's a writer and a photographer who has a good eye, especially for spatial photography, because I want to start running a blog. Or if they're not a photographer, a videographer, because I would like to also intersect some video if possible. Um, I think we'll have enough money to do that because it's just adding another person in the car. Um, the folks coming on the trip, me and Jonah, and potentially a third, won't be paid at this time. Um, I won't be paid at all. I, I won't take any money um, to pay myself. But with that being said, I do want to see, keep raising funds to pay Jonah slash the other potential assistant to come on the trip and pay them. And I think it's incredibly important for trans folks to be involved in this project more. So I'm building a team of people who want to do social media and help edit the interviews while I'm on the road, which is not only just helpful for me and my mental clarity as I'm, you know, doing social, going to be in touch with the organization that's funding us, finding people to interview, sleeping in the car, sleeping at people's houses, driving, doing interviews, um, and like budgeting and everything, it'll be great to have people who want to be involved. But the biggest piece of that is I really want to uh, Skillshare. As you know, someone who has more privilege as a white trans guy, I think it's important to share that and also share the skills that I have. You know, I have been doing social media for some time. I've been doing organizing for years, um, and I work doing social and communications work for a nonprofit in New York. So I want to teach people how to do that, but also pay them for it. You know, trans people are worth paying. Um, so often we're asked to do things for free and just so we can build a resume so we can potentially get a job because nobody will hire us because we're trans. I really want to make Transilient into something that does pay people, trans people in specific, to... Um, help. I mean, that's like, I think they're gonna be the biggest thing for us. I, I think, you know, yes, trans rights are important. But what's even more important is like being able to survive. And in this country, you have to have a job, hands down, like you, there's nothing you can do. And um, trans people are regularly dismissed and not given work. And I want to help end that. So with that being said, I'm going to share the fundraiser again. And because we'll have enough money to travel, I do want to raise funds to pay folks who want to help with social media and to pay the assistance this summer. Um, so if you could share, help, donate, do whatever you'd like, please do. Know that the money is going to be going towards trans people's lived realities, helping them uh, learn new skills and build their resume. 
So please share the fundraiser. Please consider um, fundraising. Please contact me if you know of people that I can stay with or who want to be interviewed for Transilient this summer. Um, yeah, so let me break it down. New assistant, funding, check, um, and paying trans folks money to, to learn how to do social media and gain some skills and build their resume with the money that you donate. So please consider doing that. Um, and I can't wait to see everybody on the road. I can't wait to see how this project comes together. I'm so excited about it and I'm so excited about its future. Also a little scared because I'm going to be hanging out in places like Florida and, and uh, South Dakota. So yeah. Um, but I'm so happy to see my family, my trans family in those places and, and see them thrive and hear about their lives and, and, uh, meet them and know them and let everyone know that they're there and they're real and they're beautiful and smart and um just really magical people you know trans people are so fucking beautiful and everyone needs to know it so anyway i'll stop blabbering thanks for everything and uh i'm really excited i'll see you all soon